G'day everyone, Brett Bolsey here. Um, sorry about the hat, but uh, I've been out in the sun and everything. Um, I've had a really short haircut. Um, look, I've had a very interesting um, response to the um, King's Observatory Valdosta. Um, and the reason why I'm putting this up is because of the response, um, and I just want to go through something that I'm hopefully, well, that hopefully everyone can look at and advise back. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert at this stuff, and I'm not an astronomer, and I'm not a computer wizard. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I'll show you down in the subsection here. Uh, one of my subs, Liz, has sent me some really interesting stuff in regards to this. Um, and this is hers here. Um, now, she sent uh, some pictures on Dropbox that I'm hoping um, will come through as I open these up and you guys can look at them and you'll see exactly what I mean. Um, if it's true, um, what she's picked up, and uh, might I say, fantastic catch if it is. And, uh, you know, this is what this, this was what I always wanted to start this thing for, was to look for Nibiru and then try and get everybody else to, to look for Nibiru and find out whether it was truth or not. Because there seems so much uh, for, and, you know, so much against. Um, the thing that worries me about the against is, is the vitriol that comes from the against. Jeez, heavy stuff. Um, you might have noticed it doesn't pop up here, pop up on my things too often because I just delete it straight away. Don't answer to it, don't talk to them enough and just delete it. Um, which I guess is what everyone calls trolling. I just don't bother with it. Um, but I'll, um, click on this. Now, like I said, hopefully someone there um, Strop, if you're listening, you, you're pretty good at this stuff. And uh, a few of the other guys, if if you listen, if you watch this, um, just have a good look at what Liz is saying on these pictures. I'll bring it up now. I'm hoping that that's changed over because it didn't actually say, oh, yeah, it's recording this tab. Now, this was obviously the picture that was on there, and I'm, I'm actually starting, ever since Liz sent me this this morning, I was thinking about it and thinking about it. Why, why would anyone, why would anyone put this on, on Skycam? That's the repeating question that goes through in my mind. Um, just why would you put it on Skycam? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't know, I just couldn't. I just couldn't figure it out. So let's have a look at this one. Now, this was the one that I captured, and what Liz is saying is that this picture here is an actual picture from NASA, showing this this spot here. Does that make sense to everybody? So what we're looking at is virtually a 90 degree shift that way so that these are lining up through that way now. Oh, sorry. This is the original picture. So the one that I'm looking at, that I took the other night, it's gone the opposite way. So these have gone through that way and aligning that way. So it's a full 90 degree tilt. Does that make sense? I hope everyone's understanding that. All right, I'll show you, show you the next one. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's bloody hard to get the next one. That was that one. Just let me see if I can open this one up. Because I'm doing it through this uh, screen testify. No, it's the same one. Sorry, guys. Moon pick one. See if this is it. Nope. Same one. Moon picks. Same one. Look, I tried to save it before, but it was a bloody nightmare. Um, but look, if you go onto Liz's um, site or, or from the comment section, uh, sorry, from the comment section on my site, She's actually sent two of these, and you can clearly see that, like I said, it's shifted 90 degrees. You can see that's shifted 90 degrees. Now, look at, look at the outline of the, for a better term, bay there. It It's pretty similar, if not matching. So if this is true... Either the Earth is tilted 90 degrees, I don't know what that would be in percentages, or the Moon has tilted. Its axis has turned sort of 90 degrees. So either at the moment our Earth has tilted 90 degrees or the Moon has tilted 90 degrees, if these pictures are 100% correct. And I tell you what, they bloody look like it, don't they? So if everyone could give a hand and uh, just tell us uh, what you think, that would be bloody handy. I mean, look at that. Jeez, they look similar, don't they? My only thought, like I said this morning, is if anyone put this up, and this, if this is true, this is, if this turns out to be true, then the only reason that this was put up was be put up by someone who was trying to expose what was going on. Surely, surely, the only person who would put this up would be someone who wanted to get the word out there, but was trying to do it in a clandestine, clandestine matter. Is that the word? So it's been done on the sneaky. Or shifty, so you say in England. That's the only reason you'd put this up. Someone's put this up hoping that someone would see something, I'm guessing. Sounds a bit uh, far-fetched, doesn't it? But I'll tell you what, those bloody craters look exactly the same. And that, the outline there looks exactly the same. Doesn't it? That looks the same. And that. And that looks exactly the same as that. Look. Crater, crater, crater. Looks eerily close, doesn't it? And what gives it away is that bit there. Because that is that bit there. Isn't it? Goes round the bay, comes down, and goes in like that. Geez, that's got to be it, hasn't it? Bloody hell. So hence the reason why I'm saying the only reason that someone would put that up would be to actually hopefully expose what's going on. Surely. Because why else was this moon on there that day? Anyway, folks, have a look in the comment section. And look on the pictures and go through it and do some super sleuthing. Time is of the essence. God bless. Speak to you all later.